G'day guys. My name is Vinny and like some of the people here, I got into this competition through school. And I go to a Christian private school where we are all children of Jesus. But going to a private school isn't as bad as you think. They make us out to be all stuck up pricks, but what? Only half of us are? I mean, with my 1950s shirt, tie and blazer, our parents pay a fortune so we can get the education of our grandparents. <laughs> and you know, there are some upsides to going to a Christian school, right? Like, uh, you know, um, mm. nah, nah, there's none. <laughs> I, I mean, we get the same stuff. It's just, uh, just a little different. L like we still get Harold the giraffe. <laughs> He's like a kid's health education program. Hey kids, come into my van and we can learn about drugs and alcohol. <laughs> and if I was a good boy, I'd get some candy. Aren't there some laws about handing out candy to kids? And from a van. <laughs> and you learn some weird stuff at school, don't you? Like unnecessary stuff, like math, or how to play recorder. Hot oh, cross buns, hot oh, cross buns. <laughs> but the most useful thing you can know at school, how to spell boobs upside down on the calculator. Five eight oh oh eight. if you haven't given it a whirl already. And there's some stuff you should learn, but you don't learn. Like how to get a job or how to pay taxes. But I guess if you're gonna become the CEO of a multinational, how not to pay taxes. <laughs> and um, in class, I've been doing religious education. Right? And we learn about this dude named Moses and he like goes on top of a hill and he comes back with like the Ten Commitments commandment. I wasn't really listening at the time. But um, but they were seriously outdated. I think they need to be rewritten for Australian conditions. So, so here are mine. Thou shalt not wear socks and flip flops. <laughs> Thou shalt not dunk biscuit in neighbour's tea. Thou shalt certainly not try and get it out with a teaspoon. <laughs> thou shalt not have a mullet unless thou barracks for Collingwood. <laughs> thou shalt not recommend Promite over Vegemite. And above all, above all, thou shalt not drink chalky milk with a straw, you drink it out of the carton like a man. And you know, there were some less important ones. Like, um, you know, like, uh, you can't kill people, and like honouring your parents. And, oh, talking about parents, aren't they all so sad? <sighs> like, I was over at my mate's place the other day and her little brother steals a chocolate from the pantry. And the mum catches him and she says, it's okay, you just have to learn from your mistakes. And I turn to her and I say, you're a hypocrite, you had three children, my parents learned from this mistake. <laughs> and you know, we all have done or like are doing art class, right? And it's pretty useless, but at least it's not as useless as actually getting a degree in the arts. <laughs> I mean, uh, my parents are both in the arts. Thanks, Mum and Dad, we'll be poor forever. Um, and I often get dragged around to a lot of arty stuff where I don't really want to be. But you know, I think I've learned something. The most important thing you can know as an artist, it's looking at other people's art, taking it all in really thinking about it and pretending you care thanks i'm vincent merrick you've been great Woo! ladies and gentlemen vincent merrick